All right, thanks, Andy. Happening right now, investigators looking for answers after the death of a 15-year-old boy in Chestnut Ridge Park. Our Matt Bobay live at the park this morning. Laura, that accident happened right on the Eternal Flame Trail. Right when you get into Chestnut Ridge Park, there's a mailbox that has these maps. Now, on the map, it says the Eternal, Eternal Flame Trail is about a half mile long, moderately difficult. That is where all of the accident happened yesterday, right behind me. Now, investigators trying to figure out what exactly happened, and by doing that, they want to interview everybody who was at the park yesterday. It was a very busy day, nice weather, a lot of people out. They want to figure out if, in fact, that boy fell off of the trail and then died after falling. That down that 60 foot ravine, or if he then tried to climb back up after getting separated from his family and then slipped again and fell. But still, a very, very tragic accident that happened here. But people with the park want to make sure that you know that you can still come out and enjoy the trail as long as you're prepared and you use all the proper safety tips. There's a sign that very clearly tells you what you should be doing and more importantly, what you shouldn't be doing. And if you're looking for advice, uh, whether it comes from the captain or it comes from the, the, the fire side of things, the rescuers, read the sign. Uh, do exactly what it says and you can come out here and you can have an enjoyable time. Now, those crews did say that that 15-year-old boy didn't seem to really do anything wrong. This simply was just an accident that really couldn't be avoided. But some tips you want to make sure you remember if you're heading out to the Eternal Flame Trail at any point this weekend or if you're going hiking anywhere, first and foremost, always travel with a buddy. Never go out by yourself. Second, always have on a good pair of sneakers or shoes, kind of like what 7 Eyewitness News Jim Herr is wearing right now. He's got trail shoes on, not running shoes, the bottom of those just too slick. And third and last, you want to make sure you always have a fully charged cell phone in case something unfortunately like it happened yesterday, you can contact the authorities immediately. For now, we're live in Orchard Park, Map Ove 7 Eyewitness News.